Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Tashwita Gupta, your ACCA mentor. So first of all, belated happy Diwali to all of my subscribers. And I know I have not been active uh, since few weeks now. And there has been some stress ongoing and my health was not keeping well. And due to that, I have just today resumed my work. Anyways, today is 15th of November and the most important thing that I want to discuss with the financial reporting students worldwide, those who consider me as their mentor or who are looking for guidance in general, uh, that what should be our strategy for the coming 15 days? What should we refer to? What are the things we have to cover? I know like at this point in time, it feels like I've not done this, I've not done that, I've not covered that chapter, plus I've not done the kit also. If I have done the kit, my kit was not doing, like it was not in a smooth flow and I was making a lot of mistakes. I've not done, I keep the practice of section C questions, blah, 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 blah. So there are a lot of things that I want to discuss here today. And the first thing that I want to share with you is, it is never too late. I know that at this point in time, wherever, whichever situation you are in, I have two options. Either I can tell you, you can't do this. You are already very late. You've procrastinated. Don't prepare at all. Sit idle. That's one option. Another option is that I give you a hope and a reality check also that even if now, wherever your preparation is, maybe you're done uh, 60%, 70%, wherever you are in your preparation, even if you keep yourself up your willpower up at this point in time and try to cover the syllabus, try to cover whatever have been left in your preparation before now, then also there is a big possibility that you will at least secure a pass. Of course, the students who are studying from the very first day covered the kit twice already, are already giving mocks and all. They are going to get an edge over you. They will maybe end up getting 80s, maybe in late 80s, 90s. But at least you can still aim for a pass. So what I want to say is do not give up. We can still pass our paper if we move in the right and the smart direction. Now, what is this right and smart direction? First of all, try to cover up the syllabus as soon as possible now. Whatever is left from your syllabus. I don't know precisely for each individual who's watching this video where your preparation is, but you have to make sure that you cover up the concepts ASAP. Now, as soon as you're done with your concepts, you are going to come to the practice. Now, that will make the difference. That's why I said cover the concept ASAP. If it, if it is 30% of the preparation is pending, cover it in two days. So, so that you can quickly come to the kit practice. Because once you start with the kit practice, that is when you will also have automatic revision of all the concepts. Even if a concept was pending, you've not covered it. If the question comes up on that concept in the kit, automatically it will get covered. Right? So this is what I want to say that do not give up and make sure that you are practicing as soon as possible. You're starting with the practice. Now, if, you are, if I start with the practice now, let's suppose there's a situation where the student has not started with the practice yet. And this is the first day he's starting the practice. First, you have to target in the first half of the day where your mind is highly productive. You have to target the MCQs. Okay, you have to target the MCQs, uh, including section A, section B. You have to make sure that you're randomly picking up the questions. Okay, if you want to move in the direction of the kid, that is also your choice. But you are picking up questions from all syllabus areas. Okay, so if I do first 30 questions of the kid, it is not necessary that the first 30 questions will be from IS 16 only. No, they will be from multiple standards. So pick up questions from various topics and start doing them. Of course, when you do it for, if this is the first time, when you do it for the first time, you'll make a couple of mistakes. You'll never match the standard of the kit. You'll never match the uh, answer given to you at the back of the kit. And that's a brutal fact. Nobody is ever able to get 100% accuracy. So if you're working at 50% accuracy, be proud of yourself. Whatever goes wrong while practicing the MCQs, keep on highlighting those. Because once 
I will come back for revision maybe two days before the exam, three days before the exam. I'm going to refer those highlighted MCQs. And what concept was used in that MCQ? So you're getting how do I identify my problem areas? Problem area for me might be IFRS 9, but the same problem area for you might be IFRS 15. But how will we identify this? Not based on our emotions, but based upon what was going wrong in the kit while solving the MCQs. So a few days before the exam, I'm going to practice only those syllabus areas which were wrong while practicing the MCQs. That's why highlighting is very important. Then, now if I come to second half of the day, you have to cover up your section C. That is your 20 marks question. You all know that in section C, you have group accounts either. You get single entity and you can also get and you most of the times do get interpretation questions. So for that, I have listed the top 20 questions. I'm not saying these are the only questions to be done. No, these are the high priority questions. You can start your kit with these questions and you have to do their typed practice. So the second half of the day, 20 marks questions, I think you can at least solve two questions every day. So in 10 days, you'll be done with these 20 questions. So you can type these two questions. Type means if I'm doing group accounts question, I will solve it on Excel. If I'm doing single entity question, I'll solve it on Excel. If I am doing interpretation question, I'll type it on Word. This is how you actually practice. So these 20 questions, you'll find the list in the description box. These are not the only questions. These are the high priority questions. Why? Not because examiner came in my dream and told me these are the important questions. No. I'm not any astrologer or I'm not any uh, magic, uh, you know, person who's good, magical person who's going to help you with these questions. No, not at all. These questions are basically just the questions which are going to cover almost every area of your syllabus. So I have handpicked those questions. I know that in the group accounts, the most trickiest component of this group accounts is there in this question. So I've given you that as a practice question. That if you've solved this trick, and of course, you'll be able to solve other tricks. So you're getting my principle and spirit behind giving these super 20 questions. So you have to get through these 20 questions in a typed format. And then you can do the remaining questions in the remaining days. Fine. So we are done with section A, section B. We have to devote a lot of time to MCQs because 60% of your success is based upon MCQs. Only 40% on section C. So super 20 questions are given for section C. Now, apart from this, you can also refer, since all of you know that I teach FR and SBR currently at WIFI. So you all know there have been in past quarters, I've conducted Game Changer series. So you can find their recordings, the Game Changer series recordings in the description box. And you can just refer to those for your uh, accumulated preparation. You can revise your concepts via that free resource. And there are a lot of other free resources available on YouTube and uh, you can use them if you don't have any other mentor. So this is what you should be doing in the remaining days. Quick coverage of concepts from whichever source you feel right. Then uh, quickly moving to the practice, focusing a lot on section A and section B, doing the practice of highlighting so that you get to know your problem areas and doing type the practice of super 20 questions, which are listed in the description box. If you have any further doubts, if you have any discussions to be made, any personal doubts that you want to ask, feel free to contact me on my WhatsApp. The number is once again given to you in the description box. So I hope this video was helpful for all of you. May God bless you all. And once again, a belated happy Diwali. We will all pass, hopefully, in our December attempt. Thank you for watching it till here. See you in the next one.